What is up to all our sidekicks and henchmen out there in the Geek Nation? My name is Noel, and today I'm going to do some more Thunder Rounds. We've done a couple in the last two days because comics are two days now, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But uh, there's uh, so many cool things that I've already read this week that I, I kind of wanted to do more. Um, uh, as we had mentioned before on the channel, like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. We'll send links on the bottom for you to follow and 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 say hello on other social media channels and all the hoo-ha and hullabaloo um but today uh i'm gonna do some thunder rounds on the free comic book days that came out today or three com free comic book day issues that came out today um two things one what's a thunder round it's a 60 second review of a comic book that came out today or this week um and what's free comic book day uh we talked about it in previous videos but free comic book day in the olden times when things were normal um, was the typically the first weekend in May where they would uh, well publishers would release free things to comic books and comic book retailers um, for uh, customers or they would release a new product f for free for customers to come uh, to the stores and shop and create a habit and a lot of times it would be exclusive uh, exclusive stories new content uh, new action figures fresh apparel and stuff that's specific for free comic book day because of COVID-19 and all of the craziness that's happening in the world this year. Free Comic Book Day wasn't one day, it's all month. So it's like Free Comic Book Day summer, it's slowly going to be dripping out um, every week. So this week we had two issues, two comic book issues, one from Marvel Comics and one from Boom Studios. Uh, the first one being the X-Men Free Comic Book Day, X-Men Ten of Swords. Um, it is two stories in here, actually. Uh, the main story, the X-Men one, is by uh, Jonathan Hickman and Pepe Larraz. And the other one I wanted to talk about was Power Rangers, The Road to the Ranger Slayer, uh, written by Ryan Parrott, with art by Dan Mora, Huang Danlin, and Dan Mora. So it's three little stories in this one issue. Uh, both of them are completely new. Um, a lot of times free comic book day issues will be reprints, uh, reprints of, of some other previous material or um, other events, or sometimes they're just previews of books coming out. But either way, it's, it's usually new repackaged content with some sort of um, teaser for what's coming, which, which kind of tees off the first one. Uh, but we should, we should probably just get into it, yeah? Just, just kind of go. Um, so, I'm gonna use my timer on my watch because I'm ill-prepared, uh, much like normal, however, you know, life. Um, let's see, I will put 60 seconds on the clock for this first issue, and go. So, like I said, X-Men by Jonathan Hickman and Pepe Larraz. The art in here, like always, is beautiful because Pepe Larraz is an amazing artist. The last thing that we kind of saw him do, besides a couple of one-shots here and there, was House of X, Powers of Ten, which was Hickman also. So he's almost, he's the artist that has defined this era, or the, the visual style of this era of X-Men, which is great, him and, and R.B. Silva. Um, this issue was definitely a lot of groundwork. I didn't understand it. I mean, I've been reading everything since Jump, um, and uh, much like with a lot of Hickman's work, it's pretty effusive. It's it's kind of uh, keeps you at arm's length. Um, it's obtuse, uh, and it's very high-minded in a way. However, it's still decent. Um, the entire issue is a lot of like previews for stories that are coming based off of uh, 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 tarot cards. It's, it's a beautiful looking thing, even if I didn't understand it. Now, the big story for me is the back half of this book, which is a teaser for a series that I did not know was even going to happen. Um, I think called Dark Ages by Tom Taylor and Ian Cobello, who has been, Coelho, who's been doing art for Venom. Um, it is a very short 10 page story of something happening to Tony Stark. It seems like it's not in continuity, however, it is so, ca oh, about 60 seconds. Uh, what I was gonna say was that, I think that was a little over 60 seconds. I got a little, I got a little too into it, but who cares? Um, it is such a kind of shocking, nifty thing, uh, and it's not introduced. Like it's a, it's a great little 
one sh or it's a great little short story in the back of this issue uh, that I wasn't expecting that makes me very excited for whatever they're doing next. Um, Tom Taylor is just everywhere that matters. He, he seems to be, his niche seems to be creating these like alternate universes within continuity um, that are just fun where he could do whatever he wants. And it looks kind of like he's being allowed to do that in the Marvel Universe before it was in DC with the Injustice and Deceased. But if this is what I, I think it is, it's gonna be really, really cool and I'm putting it on my pull list. Um, the second free comic book day was Power Rangers. I know that a lot of people aren't reading this, especially, well, I, I know a lot of people are reading this, but we don't talk about it much because I seem to be the only person, I not seem to be, I am the only person on the channel that's kind of reading this. I think JD has even said before, he wishes he cared about the Power Rangers because the art always seems really fun and a lot of people are talking about it. Maybe one day I'll break them down and get them to read something, but we'll see. Um, this free comic book day, uh, like I said before, is written by Ryan Parrott, who has been writing uh, the main book, I believe, yeah, the main book, and then also um, he just wrapped up the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover between Boom and IDW, which was super silly, but very fun. Um, and they also just announced a relaunch of the of the title this November. So, uh, well, you know what? Let me talk about the book. Let's talk about the book. So, timer and go. Um, free comic book day. Road to Ranger Slayer. So this is a. Um, it's all new material, but it's a primer book. Um, it is a. Uh, this character of the Ranger Slayer is an alternate universe version of Kimberly Hart, who is the original Pink Ranger. Um, in this alternate version, everything is, in this alternate universe, everything is awful and terrible and the bad guys win and the Power Rangers get destroyed and yada yada. It's very much Days of Future Past and she is the sole remaining. Um, she turns evil, but then throughout the course of other things is become, has become a bit of an anti-hero or a, a Redemption Road type of uh, character. And this is the tee up to a mini series that she will be featured in. It's a great primer issue. It, it very quickly kind of gives you all the information that you need to know about the current continuity of the of the comics, uh, of the, the, the Power Rangers comic universe. Um, the art is spectacular because it's Dan Mora, who's just so incredibly good and is like Boom's go-to guy. Oh, Boom's go-to guy. Like he's been featured in, a, or he's the main artist for... Klaus, and he was the main artist for Once in Future, which is happening right now. He also kicked off um, Buffy, uh, the, the Boom series Buffy. I don't, I have no idea how this gentleman has time to work on so many books continuously over the course of a month. He must work six to 12 months in advance for all this new content to be coming out because the Ranger Slayer one shot, he does all the interiors for, and it's coming out like in two weeks or something. I, I don't understand how prolific he is, but it's it's always great. Um, so, should you read these? Uh, the X-Men one, for that backup story alone, I would highly suggest you ask your retailer for a free copy of this. Um, the X-Men stuff is, is beautiful art, and it's it's uh, it wets the whistle a little bit, but there's no real story. It's just kind of starter stuff. Uh, but the back the back, uh, the back half is just great. Power Rangers. I'm very apprehensive to uh, recommend this to everyone. Not because it's not for everybody or it's inaccessible. It's just the Power Rangers have been around for, what, like 25 plus years? Uh, the longest running television show for kids or some or something like that. It's been around for so long that I feel like those that are, are dead set in their opinions on the Power Rangers will probably never change. Um, I was never, I never watched the show. I never really cared. I think that very first season, I was just of the age to maybe give it a shot and enjoyed it for about a year. And then fifth grade happened. So it wasn't really, I never really grew up with it other than it being the periphery and being very popular and making me, and reminding me of all the old Godzilla movies uh, and Ultraman. So coming into it fresh this past year, the, you know, the start of the series where everyone was talking about it just in comic books, um, I found myself enjoying the shit out of it. Like it's just such a fun book um, that doesn't require you to have watched or enjoyed the television program. However, it's, a, it's like 
I think I think if you just let go, you would enjoy it. It's just a well done comic book. It's super super fun. Has no right to be as as fun and accessible as it is, but it's also very intricate in kind of an old school Marvel kind of way. Um, it's a really really fun book, and this is just another example of how fun it is. They also also the level of talent on this on these books are fantastic. Kyle Higgins, Ryan Parrott, um, so many artists like Jamal Campbell and Dan Mora that have been like in and out of these these Power Rangers books, if not just doing covers, but on also like short story interiors, and it's just so good. Um, why am I spending so long talking about Power Rangers? I don't know. I would never assume that a year ago that I would be such an advocate for Power Ranger books, but they're really fun. Um, but I'll, I'll leave it alone at that. These two, these two free comic book days are actually really, really fun primers to kind of get you excited about comics, uh, current comics, which is what these are for. These are great. Um, it's an investment in, in new stories and new habits, and you guys should all ask your retailers for them. But um, I'll leave it at that. I, I won't go on anymore, but if anybody wants to talk about the current Power Rangers series, you just go ahead and at me, <laughs> and we'll talk about it outside. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, like and subscribe if you dig what we're doing here. Um, uh, we have the web or we have the um, the podcast this weekend. We're going to record live at ten thirty a.m. on this YouTube channel as well as on Facebook. So follow us and like us everywhere that we're available, and we'll put all the links down there. Um, join the conversation. We're going to have a good time. Uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, this is always fun. Thanks for spending the last five ten minutes with me, uh, and I'll see you later. Thanks, man. Bye.